city gave us the name, the real little Italy of New York. Most of the business you see are Italians. You know, you'll go to Tyler Brothers, uh, they're Jewish, and they speak better Italian than some of the Italians do. And whenever you walk in, my mom walks in and goes, hey, signore, che sta facendo, you know? When they go shopping for Christmas, they go to the bread store, they go to the pastry shop, they go to the butchers. By the time they do all their shopping, the holidays are over. Now the families know each other from Italy. Yeah. Giovanna's family. It's the closest you can get to Italy in New York. All the food and drinks. A lot of the old people that are around here are from Italy. You get the feeling like it's very close to home. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that noodle cutter and bring it over here. This got to be close to 90, 100 years old. When my grandparents opened the store in 1935, they were using this to help cut noodles. My uh, grandfather, Lindo, my grandmother, Maria, they were actually teenagers when they left uh, Emilia Romana, uh, Italy, but yet as little as they, they had, they, they had a lot because they had each other. You know, something I think we need today, you know, you know, of the importance of like family and support and love for one another, you know. <laughs> I heard in the 1950s is over, there was over 50,000 Italian families in this area. And uh, within 50 years, there was a big change. Slowly, after so many years, uh, the Italians moved out. Other uh, nationalities came in, Albanians, uh, Spanish, Mexican. There's no more legal Italy's in New York, real legal Italy's. So in the past, entire families would move and they would take over uh, buildings over buildings. To this day, modern immigration has to do with personal, professional development. 30% of my friends left Italy and uh, never came back. Today, we Italians are trying to, to go to the United States because of the secret hope that you would realize your American dream.